So I live at a church, but it's only because I'm its caretaker, so it's not weird. Don't mind that guy, he's just possessed. But they let me live in the utility room for a hundred bucks a month, so that's nice. Hold on a sec. Anyway, life's not great, but at least I'm not dead. This is Dr. Zumi of the <coughs> University, and welcome back to our podcast, A Matter of Death. In conclusion, this horrifying 100% true rumor of a quote, overdramatic man tortured with insomnia, a low attention span, and severe depression after the heartbreak of losing his wife and eventually becoming the living dead is totally true. So be warned of heartbreak, my friends. It could be killing you. No. No, 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 no. Beth? It's Mark. Listen, I gotta, I gotta talk to you. For, no, no, not you. Not you. Just, just hear me out, okay? Listen, I don't know what's going on, but I think there's something wrong with me. Look, I know you're maybe busy, but where are you? So, when did you start to die? Sometime after... Now... I think she did something to me. I, I haven't been able to feel... Anything emotionally. I, but I, I still have control of my hands and, and my downstairs. But my hearing's beginning to fade. People have to keep repeating things to me. Sorry! What? Why are you coming to me? If you're in trouble with Mel. Be careful when you say that name. You don't know the kind of power that name holds. That and she hasn't returned any of my calls. Well, Melon. I would probably tell you that you're being just, just a tad bit overdramatic. I am not being overdramatic. I'm dying. You gotta help me. If I don't feel anything, a, a laugh, a tear, I'll lose all control of my bodily functions. It'll be too late. Okay, well, what do you want me to do? Get me into your apartment so that she can see what she's done to me. I wouldn't have met Melancholy if it wasn't for you, Beth. You're the only friend that I have right now, and I need you now more than ever. Well, she's busy right now with her new practice. But, but listen, hey, I'll make you a deal. How about you let me try to bring you back to life? You know about the dark arts. A lot. I work in the library. <sighs> what? I didn't say anything. If she's seeing anybody, I'll buy them off. Give me a chance. I know what I'm doing. Oh, really? You've brought somebody back from the dead before. I've done research for it. Oh. Listen, there was this, this friend of mine who was really into a guy, and he wasn't her best friend. So when they started dating, there was this, this park that she would go to. And she would just sit on a bench, alone, just, just depressed. Anyways, she can't sleep at night, and she has trouble focusing. Focusing on what? 
What? So you didn't cure her? Look, who says melancholy even wants to help you anyways? She's the only one that's ever made me feel alive. I have to see her. Look, if she can't help me, then you can give it a shot, okay? That was not part of our agreement. I will take you to her. No, wait. What? Now you're sure she agreed to see us? <laughs> Do you want to see her or not? Yeah, but, but maybe... Maybe I should just go in alone, you know? It, it could be dangerous. How so? It's my apartment, too. Yeah, but maybe she gets the wrong idea and casts a spell on us. <laughs> Would you get off of me? You do not understand the consequences Stop. of disturbing a witch in heat. Welcome back, Martin. Hi, Melancholy. Are you sure we're not interrupting anything? What makes you think that? I predicted your arrival. So you didn't get my text message. Martin, I know you don't want to be here. And after seeing you now, you must think you're beyond help. I want you to know that I never meant for this to happen to you. But I think deep down we both know just how I can fix your broken heart and bring you back to life. Wouldn't you like that? Good. Strip naked. Is this foreplay? Quiet, Martin. You must remain still until the candles have melted and their flames go out. Then the ritual will be complete and life shall return to you. Beth, you'll make lunch. Wait, but how will we know when it worked? Tears or laughter are a sign of life. An erection would also be acceptable. Now let's begin. Uh. Um, this camera's getting kind of hot. Uh, ah! What the hell? Silence! No more interruptions! Where are the taco shell? In the fridge! Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? Ah! Nope, okay, nope, that's it. I can't do this. My gosh, are you okay? I'm sorry, I panicked. Martin! You overdramatic prick! Never interrupt an incantation. I was so close. You better go. I'm busy. Melancholy. Ow! So, do you feel any better? Hey. I've been wanting to tell you. My friend, she still hasn't gotten over her heartbreak. But I think I know how I can help her. Beth. I know that you said you wanted to help me, but I don't think anything can help me right now. I just want to try an experiment. It's her. What? Martin? It's Melancholia. I think I know what went wrong between us. You do? Beth, 
We have to try your idea some other night. I don't think... I'm sorry. Did you feel anything? Maybe if I try again... Oh. Okay. Maybe you are dead. You said we could work this out. I did. This way you can't escape. Here, try some iced tea. Beth has to work, so she won't be able to join us this morning. Which is probably best, because I can't control my powers around you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Close. That was close. You know, you're dripping so much, it almost looks like you're crying. Martin, if you weren't so over dramatic, then maybe this ritual would work, and maybe the two of us could have had a chance. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but I'm gonna try something. Well, did it work? Welcome back to life, Martin. <sighs> Thank you, Melancholia. Hey, Martin. Martin. Martin! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I can get you another one. Martin, you said it was a matter of life and death. Are you... Are you okay? What's... Oh, great. It is a matter of life and death. Okay, that but... I... I lied the other day when when I, when you asked if I felt anything there has been somebody that's made me feel alive what I said no I heard you to be honest you make me feel alive too So, uh, we almost died. <laughs> so after they fixed us up at the hospital, they didn't know what to do with us, so they had us brought back to my church. It turns out we have severe head trauma, so we're unlikely to live another decade. Anyway, life's pretty good.